Australia is the smallest continent in the world. It is also known as the continent of kangaroos. It is the largest island in the world. Now, coming to its location, extent and boundaries. The latitudinal extent of this continent is from 10 degrees 20 latitude south to 40 degrees 39 latitude south. Its longitudinal extent is 113 degrees east to 153 degrees 30 latitude east. This continent is totally in the southern hemisphere. The Tropic of Capricorn passes roughly through the center of the continent. The island of Tasmania, located to the southeast of this continent, is a part of this continent. Now, let us proceed with the physiography using a map. The western part of the continent is a plateau region. It is an extensive area and it includes different plateaus, deserts and mountain ranges. The Great Sandy, Gibson and Great Victoria deserts occupy a large part of this region. There are many dry lakes like Lake Cowan, Lake Bali, etc. To the east of the desert region lie low-lying plains formed by the deposition of many rivers. There are many lakes in the southern part of this central plain region. Of these, Lake Eyre has a depth of minus 20 meters below the sea level. To the east of plains is the Great Dividing Range. It runs in the north-south direction. This range includes Australia Alps and New England Hills. Mount Kosciusko in this region is the highest peak in Australia. The Great Dividing Range is named so because it divides the rain falling on the ground into the east and west regions. This continent has a coast on all four sides. The coastal region is highly populated. The Great Barrier Reef is made up of coral rocks. It runs parallel to the northeastern coast and is about 2,000 kilometers long. Now, let us get to know about the climate. The climate of Australia is generally hot and dry. The area to the north of Tropic of Capricorn has tropical climate, whereas to its south it is temperate. During summer, in the month of January, the mean temperature in the north is 35 degrees Celsius, while in the south it is 20 degrees Celsius. During winter, in the month of July, the mean temperature in the north drops down to 25 degrees Celsius, while in the south it reaches 5 degrees Celsius. In the Australian Alps and the interior part of the island of Tasmania, the temperature during winter sometimes goes below the freezing point. It leads to foggy conditions and snowfall. The winds flowing from Pacific Ocean brings rains to the mountainous region on the eastern coast. The rainfall in this region is 1000 millimeters. As the winds go westwards, crossing the mountains, they become dry and hot. As a result, the central part of the continent receives less rainfall. The central part lies in the hot tropical high-pressure belt. Hence, winds blow outward from this region and make the region dry. This region receives less than 250 mm rainfall. That is why this has become a region of hot deserts. The north receives rain from the monsoon winds. The south receives rains from the westerlies. There are three types of climate in Australia. One, monsoon climate in the north. Two, arid climate in the central part. Three, Mediterranean climate in the southwest and southeast regions. Let us see the natural resources of Australia. 
water resources. A. Rivers The Murray is a major river in southeastern part of the continent. The river Darling is its tributary. The water of these rivers is used for drinking, agriculture and power generation. Flinders, Thompson, Namoy, Cooper Creek are the other major rivers. B. Wells In the central low-lying plains, there are distinctive artesian wells. Water from these wells is mainly used for animal husbandry. Scarcity of water is the main problem in the hot deserts to the west. Forest resources The north and eastern coastal regions get heavy rains and therefore we find rainforests in these areas. We can find a number of species of eucalyptus and acacia trees in Australia. Due to low rainfall in the central region, we find thorny shrubs, grasses and cactus. Coniferous trees like pine, spruce, red cedar, maple, walnut are found in the southeastern parts of Australia and Tasmania. Animal Resources Millions of years ago, this continent got separated from the main continental mass and drifted far away. As a result, we find different kinds of animals in this continent. The kangaroo is a distinctive animal found only in this continent. It has a belly pouch to carry its young ones. It feeds on shrubs and grass. The platypus and echidna are egg-laying mammals. The platypus has a duck-like beak. Dingo, a kind of dog, is also found here. Similarly, animals like koala, wallaby, cuscus, etc. are found in this continent. Emu is the national bird of Australia. In the eastern part of the continent, animal husbandry is the main occupation. The wool is mainly produced through sheep rearing. Soil Resources The Murray-Darling Basin has fertile soil. Central part of Australia is a hot desert covered by sandy soil. Southern areas of Mediterranean climate have brown soils. The northern regions of monsoon-type climate have red-coloured soils. Mineral Resources This continent is a storehouse of minerals. Gold mines are located in southern parts of Australia at Coolgardie and Kalgoorlie. Iron ore, coal, gold, silver are extracted from the mining areas of Broken Hills. Iron ore is found to the west in the basins of rivers like Fortescue and Ashburton. There are coal mines on the east coast. Opal, a precious stone, is also found here. Environmental Issues 1. The western part of Australia gets low rainfall. Therefore, most of the rivers here are seasonal. This has created the problem of scarcity of water. As a result, people in this region have to face famine conditions. 2. The Great Barrier Reef along the northeastern coast of Australia is a tourist attraction. But due to global warming, the temperature of seawater is increasing and this has posed a threat to this reef. 3. The central part is a hot desert and the sand from these deserts is blown by the wind to the peripheral regions and deposited there. As a result, the areas of hot deserts are increasing. 4. Due to overgrazing of animals and deforestation on a large scale, the areas of eastern mountains and Murray-Darling basins are facing severe problems of soil erosion.